From an innovation in medicine to one in tech, flying cars are closer to becoming reality. A Bay Area company has been testing a prototype and just got federal approval to take to the skies. Crown Force Ellis Gomonian here in the studio now to show us a first look at the ALIF Model A vehicle. Ken, the innovation out of Silicon Valley is once again pushing the limits of the realm of possibility. This is the vision of the company ALIF that they have for the near future. And as you can see in the video that they released, it shows traffic moving well above the Bay Bridge and up in the air. I grew up reading uh, Asimov, Bradbury, uh, and some other science fiction writers. And uh, watching, mostly watching um, Back to the Future, Blade Runner, Fifth Element. Innovator Jim Duhovny was inspired by science fiction to make flying cars a reality. Together with these three men, they gathered in a Palo Alto cafe and sketched a rough drawing of what it could look like. Seven years later, the Federal Aviation Administration has given them the green light to take their Model A prototype to the skies. This is a limited special airworks in its approval, which allows us to fly in very limited spaces for very limited purposes. But that being said, it's very important for us because it gives us freedom to do a lot of flight testing, to show it to people, right, to do the public demonstration. This is something we expect to do um, pretty soon. Duhovny believes this is the next efficient mode of travel, like the evolution from a horse and carriage to the traditional car. The Aleph Model A is 100% electric, fits in a garage, can drive on the road, and take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but with significantly less wind force and noise, according to the company. The vehicle is listed at $300,000, but the hope is to one day make it affordable by slashing the cost down to around $30,000 in the future. Duhovny predicts the flying car will be made widely available to the masses, ideally by the year 2030. Aleph is already offering pre-orders for their flying car, $150 to get in line and $1,500 for the priority wait list. The FAA will have to continue to create regulations for airborne vehicles until then. And Ken, we'll just have to see what kind of vehicle licensing uh, drivers would have to get approved for here in order to take something like this and operate one of them. Sideshows in the sky to come, I guess. That's exactly what I was thinking when I saw this. <laughs> we'll see how it all works out. Uh, sky love to get donuts. out of the traffic. Like yeah. to get out of the traffic. Thank you, Ella.